today I'm going to show you how to install Coolbooter on iOS. So first thing you're going to do is go into Cydia. This works on all iOS um, uh, not 8 and 9, or um, all 32-bit iOS 8 and 9 devices. So what you're going to do is go to Edit, then you're going to go to Add, and you're going to type in coolbooter.com, and then you're going to press Add Source. I've already done it to speed up time a little bit, so I'm going to press Cancel. So coolbooter.com is what you're going to type in there. So then you're going to go to Coolbooter link here. You're going to go into System. You're going to go to this one. You're going to go to this one. You're going to press Install. Mine says Reinstall because I already have it. But you're just going to press Install. It's going to take a minute to install and then after you're done, it's going to appear on one of your menus. I've already got it in this folder. So, next thing we're going to do is go into Coolbooter. This is the really fun part. So it says, Welcome to Coolboot. Coolbooter. Obviously, I can't boot it because they're going to make a partition. So, I'm going to press Install. And this is the fun part. You get to select any operating system that you want that uh, is on this list. Any operating system that shows up here you can get. So I was 5. I can get it on this one because it's an iPad 2. If you have an iPad mini for example or an iPad 4 um, then you're gonna have to you're gonna have to uh, use iOS 6 and up. So I was 5, I was 6, I was 7, I was 8 and the latest one is iOS 9 so you've got all of it pretty much except for iOS for it if you're on um, an iPad 2. So I can choose any of these. But for this example, I'm going to use iOS 6.1.3. And then I'm going to go, you can either click I'm ready or storage. I'd recommend clicking the storage button first. Um, if you just want to explore the operating system and you don't have that much storage, I would recommend, uh, or I, at least I'd recommend 8 gigabytes. But if you're just going to explore it and you're not going to download anything, then 3 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes should be fine. So, there's 8 gigabytes. I'd recommend this at the least amount of storage. But I'm going to go with 16. I'm going to select that. Go to storage. Let me write that, or show that because I didn't show it. You select which, what amount of gigabytes that you want. Then you press select. And then iOS 6.1.3 shows up. The one that you were already on. So, it's all ready to be installed. And uh, you just click, I'm ready. And it'll ask you if you want verbose boot, which means there's a bunch of text lines going down the screen when you uh, boot into the operating system. I'm going to say no, I like the cleaner look. And I don't want to jailbreak it, I want it to be clean. And data protection, oh, work around, you don't need this. Um, and it doesn't really do anything, it just, if you want the normal iOS, just go with this. And it'll download this from Apple, and it, it will probably take a while depending on your internet connection. But once it's downloaded, you got it. You can. You, uh, I'll show this when it's done, and then go through the rest of the steps with you. It'll be really, really, absolutely cool. Okay, be right back. By the way, just wanted to let you know, you will most likely get a storage almost full. Notification, just press done. It's totally normal. It's a part of this installation. So you can see now I'm on the finishing up installation stage, and soon we will move on to the very next stage. And I will see you then. All right, so after the installation, it's going to ask you to reboot your device. You just press the button that says reboot and wait for it to reboot, and mine's done. So I'm going to slide. And I'm going to go into Coolbooter again. And now, we can really go back. So, if you press boot, it's going to say booting to whatever iOS that you chose. I chose iOS 6.1.3. It's going to say lock your device for, wait 10 seconds, and then unlock to continue. So, I'm going to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10. Okay, so then we're just going to 
press the power button and it should just pop up with the old Apple logo, which it is. I don't know if you can tell. It is the old Apple logo. It's the old one. And it's significantly faster on this OS too. I've, I've already used it before and oh my god, it's awesome. You guys have to try this for yourself if you have um, a device using this operating system. It's super, super cool. And what's the harm? It's if you the worst case scenario of this not working is that you'd have to restore it in iTunes. So make sure you back up your iPad before you do this, and you're okay. And as you see, we are on the iPad screen. And if you want to hear that noise, there it was. So after I'm done setting this up, I will be back. Okay, so you can see I've set it up. Thank you, your iPad is now set up. You are ready to start using the most advanced iOS ever. Uh huh. Yeah, that was five years ago. And we've got our check marks and the famous start using iPad button that everyone loves. So I'm gonna press this button now. And we're in. This is real iOS 6. This is not a skin. This is real iOS 6 that you can use and go back with. Turn up the brightness. And I'll show you in settings. Here we are in settings. About. Name. iPad. <laughs> iOS 6.1.3. And of course it partitioned to our 16 gigabytes that I asked it for. General, go back, and I wonder what it says if there's a software update. Is there one? Well, I'm not gonna wait here that long, but this is so cool looking. Look at that! Look at that messages icon. Isn't that cool? That's a, those are cool icons. Look at the Safari, the iTunes, the App Store, the music, the videos, the camera, Twitter, and Facebook even. Notes, mail, iCloud looks cool. Privacy, pictures. Well, that's taking too long. Usage. No data. <laughs> and that's, I forgot about that. But this flies on this operating system. So, you guys want to try it? Everything is free and you can, I'll link to where you can get Cydia and or I'll link to how you get Cydia, and uh, you just saw how to get Cool Booter, so it's really cool, and I really recommend you try this for yourself. You can go on iOS 7 if you want that new look, but fast feeling, and even iOS 8, and it's so fun to be able to choose whichever one you want to go back to. So I highly recommend this for anyone who has one, and if you want to buy like an iPad just so that you can fly through operating systems, it's pretty fun. So, uh, see you guys later.